It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? I came here from Sahara, actually. That far away? My family came there from the Northern Islands. We landed there after crossing the Great Ocean. The Great Ocean? Yes. Lands in the Far East have mountains twice as large as the ones here. I see. Perhaps asking Liliana was the better choice after all. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. No motivation beyond making things between us less... Antagonistic? Exactly. <sighs> as you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman, and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. You don't think being noble gave you opportunities others don't have? An opportunity to be decadent, perhaps. To be useless to anyone but myself. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? Huh? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. Another time, then. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. The Conclave destroyed a giant hole in the sky. Things aren't looking good. Which is why we're needed. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new Divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Is there 
anything I should know? Not at present. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. I should let you get back to work. We'll need some of your cloth for bandages. And how much? Greetings. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table. Greetings. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? As I said, in for a copper, in for a sovereign. Or hopefully several. You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an inquisition is called. Yet, I imagine it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies. It's worth. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table. Greetings. Need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I won her from Paragon Smith Bronca in a game of Wicked Grace. She was such a sore loser. Ran off to the deep roads in a huff, and that was the last anyone saw of her. 
Who is she named for? I can't tell you. And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Master Harry said he wanted to sell you. Siege equipment. We're not laying siege to anything. That's an excellent point, Ripley. If someone comes to lay siege to us, perhaps it will be best for us to have some means to fight back. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> 